sorry hey guys welcome back so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can utilize the power of yolo v11 detection either you can train your custom model or you can use the pre-trained model so uh, let's get started so first you need to go to the build.gradle.kts file and you you need to make sure that you have you have all these libraries okay tensor for light camera x ml kit to to perform ocr and permission okay now let's get, get back to the main activity so for this ammo video uh, i'm using three tf light models okay first i need uh, like first one is uh, helmet detection second one is uh, license plate detection and third one is pre model okay so you can see here is pre model second one is helmet for helmet if the user like is the if a person wear a helmet or not second third one is like less than detection okay so now you can see here okay first screen is uh, on like model direction model selection helmet model lesson split model and pre-trained model okay now these are the data class first one is like uh, for the bonding box uh, second one is for the real-time tracking okay now you can see here uh, i have like past three types of model okay first one is like uh, license plate model i just need to pass a sim single like uh, color okay so i just use uh, green color okay in this case second one is like helmet detection so i need to pass two colors first one if the user wears a helmet then i need to turn the color for bonding board screen else red okay else else uh, you i need like uh, i have used the pre-trained model so in this case like i have uh, 82 classes okay you can see here it's uh it's uh, like uh, trained on coco data set okay Uh, I need to pass like I can pass the color uh, like uh, redefine color on on Android or you can you can pass the customer color okay, like this okay. Now remember you need to pass the exact uh, size which is uh, on which model train. In this case, six four forty plus cross six forty okay. Now. Android view in 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 this Android view, I need to create a like image analyzer. You can say like camera view. Okay. Remember, you need to pass this okay parameter. Otherwise, it will crash or did not turn you the expected result. Okay. You can change the camera. Okay. So in this case, I am using back camera. Okay. So for example, if we are going to use a lesson plate detection, then I need to pass a plates OCR as well. Okay. It's lesson plate. Okay. Otherwise it's, it not showing the, this pen, uh, over, uh, overlay okay, of the view. Okay. Similarly is helmet and stretch. Okay. You can see here okay now it's stress panel stress panel okay it it will count the live detection sets okay also objects okay detected object helmet no helmet or person or something okay you can customize it's your using your your use case okay for now i'm using like this okay
remember you need to pass the same uh, classes which we like which you use on the on the training of the your your model okay so in this case class the, the direction classes for license plate is license plate helmet or no helmet okay for second use case okay and third use case is uh pre-trained model so i need to pass the classes as well okay now let's get back to the detection you can see here okay so it will perform the detect detections okay you can see here okay now uh, it's detector part okay remember you need to quantize the using u in it okay so it uh, it will compress the models okay also it will perform easily on cpu processor instead of gpu okay that's why you need to convert the model before converting it to tf light you need to convert the model in 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 it okay also remember you need to pass exact uh, tensor size class uh, tensor format here you can see hold on let me show you quickly okay yeah, you can see here okay if the output tensor is not in this format then the uh, output like uh, it may crash application okay sure so you need to make sure that the uh, output format is this okay and apply uh, i need to apply the uh, known max pressure okay if you are not expected okay result okay so you need to make sure that you have upon this function okay also this function so this function is called uh, intersection of union okay also object detection analyzer so this is the um, image analyzer okay so you can see here if the if so detect the name class name as license plate then i need to perform the ocr on image okay detected image okay you can see here i am performing the ocr detection here okay image proxy to bitmap okay so you need to convert back to the bitmap using why y uv okay why uv image okay you just need to like to give this app the train model either you can pass the pre-trained model or you can pass the custom model okay if you need to pass a custom model then you need to define the sorry the classes as well okay and put the tfi format on inside assets file okay it's its uh, package okay now let's press the application You can see here okay so let's first test the helmet model okay grant permission allow you can see here okay now you can see here okay now go back let's test the lesson plate model okay
you can see here it's reading the lesson period as well on the left side okay now go back and let's try the pre-trained model you can see here it is detecting multiple objects you can see here so that's it for this tutorial and now in future videos i will tell you how to you you can train your own custom model using yolo v11 okay if you have any question inquiry then let me know in the comments all right see ya bye bye